Hey guys, it's Paige at Cumberbook, because I'm here to do an IMM for this week. Last week I didn't do an IMM because I didn't get any books. Uh, if you can't hear me, you might watch my vlog because my AC is on. Um, so I'm talking pretty normally, but my AC is on, so it sounds normal. Anyways, this week my parents had a yard sale. So, well, last weekend actually. Um, and my dad put out a box of books that I had never seen before. And I'm like, Dad, where did you get those books? And he's like, oh, I picked them up at a house sale. I was like, what? He's like, yeah. And I'm like, you never show them to me? He's like, well, they don't seem like the kind of books you would read. I'm like, how do you know what kind of books I would read? I'll read anything just to try it. And he's like, well, whatever. You can look through it and take what you want and then put the rest out. And I was like, okay. So I'm going, I walk over to the box. And the box is full of, well, at, well on the top, it's just romance book kind of books. Like, you know, those historical fiction kind of romance books that, like, old ladies like. That's what the top was, so that's why he must have thought that I didn't like them. So I just picked those up, just just for, you know, just to see what was inside. And I'm glad I did, because I found a lot of nice books that I would like to read. Um, you probably haven't heard of many of them, because they're not really new books. They're older books, and they're more in the horror genre. There's a couple different genres. Um... There's actually one romance that kind of looks good. It's not like historical fiction kind of romance, so that's why I picked it up. But um, I'm going to show you those books, and then I'm going to show you the three books that I got at the used bookstore today. And then, I, um, that's all I have so far. Maybe I'll add on them more later in the week, but I only have two days left until I put this up, so maybe I probably won't get anything else. Anyways, here's the books. So the first book is Deadly Night by Heather Graham. If you've heard of Heather Graham, she's... I, she's a popular offer. I don't know what she writes. I've heard of her before. I think this is horror. Um, but I remember reading the back and it sounded pretty good. So, let's trade her back. Most of these are trade paper back. There's only like four or three of that. So, yeah. The next one I got was Terminal Condition by Dave Sean. I think this is a medical. Um, what do you call those kind of books? medical thriller or something like that. It's from St. Martin's, so it's cool, but this is about, a, I think, a guy who has a terminal, in, in, like, he randomly finds out that he has a ter terminal illness, and, like, his life just drains like that, and so, I don't know, it looks pretty good. And I, I read the back, so, I read the back of all these, and that's why I know that they sound good. Another author that I'm familiar with, because I have his book, uh, one of his books on my shelf, is Michael Connolly, and that's Lost Light by Michael Connolly. This one's not too bad. It's, it's not too good of a shape, but you know, these are only mass paper paperbacks, and I can get rid of them as soon as I'm done with them, so you know. So, yeah, there's that one. The next one is The Sleeping Doll by Jeffrey Deaver. I think this is horror or thriller, which I like, so both them. I like the cover of this, though. It's really nice. This one is Dark Horse by Tammy Hogue. Um, at first I was like, I don't know about that, but it's like about a cop and um, like an investigation, so it's more thriller. Maybe these are more thriller than horror. And this one kind of looks horror. Dead by Night. Ow! I just bit my tongue. And this one, I don't know, this one kind of looks thriller. But anyways, I like thriller too, so anyways, that looks good. And then... I got Invisible Lissa by Natalie Honeycutt. This is a really old book, but I used to love reading these, so I decided to grab it real quick and just maybe read. Maybe I'll read it at some point. I probably will because of how short it is, and I never read this one, so, you know, quick and easy reads for when I'm bored. Next one is On the Track of the Poltergeist, the true story of a famous, of the true story of famous investigations Personal Encounters with One of the World's Most Mysterious and Frightening Phenomenon by D. Scott Rogo. Um, if you guys have ever seen the movie Poltergeist, it's so creepy. All three of them, or four of them, but they're so good. And so when I saw this book, I was like, oh, Poltergeist! So, I'm really get excited to check this one out. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's not just some information book, like it's an actual, like, interesting stories. The next one is A Maiden's Grave by Jeffrey Deaver. I think there was another book over here by Jeffrey Deaver. Uh, yeah, this one. Um, so yeah, A Maiden's Grave. Yeah, that sounds horror. You know, The Grave. Uh, uh. And 
It's really hard. It's a big hardcover book, and it's purple. Can you see that coming out? It's purple. It's in pretty good condition, though, for an old book. Publication date is... Um, 1995, so it's a year older than me. Uh, the next one is Table for Two by well-known author Nora Roberts. This sounds so good. One, because I like to cook, and it's about two chefs whose lives coming together. Um, so I'm excited to read this at some point. Lastly, I found the definite, defi Definitive Edition the Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank. I was so excited when I saw this. Like, it's the first thing I saw and I grabbed it. I was like, oh my god. I was like, Dad, why didn't you tell me you had this? He's like, I don't know I had it. Um, I've read bits and pieces of this and the play back in, like, eighth grade. And I've always been interested in the Anne Frank story, so I always wanted to get a copy of, like, her diary for myself. And so I found one. I'm so excited. And this is a beautiful copy, too. It's like, it's a sturdier paperback. It's got flaps. It's got the ruffle edges, which I love, so I'm excited to read this. this. So, those are the books that I stole from my dad. Not stole, you know what I mean. And then I went to the used bookstore today for one book in mind, which I ended up getting. But when I walked through the, the section where his books were, I found two other authors that I've always wanted to get books by. And these books are in pretty good condition for a really good price at the used bookstore. So I picked them up. So, the book I went for was... Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks. My aunt has the movie and she watched it and she said it was a great movie and she bought it. She was like, come watch it with me. I'm like, I don't want to watch it because I want to read the book first. So she's like, okay, well go get the book so you can read it and then watch it with me. I'm like, alright. So I picked up the book and I'll read it soon so I can watch the movie. She's, she, and I showed it to her today. She's like, oh, I heard that the book was so much better than the movie. She's like, after you read this, you should let me read it. And I'm like, well, I don't know when I'm going to read it because I have like three books ahead of it so you can read it first if you want. She's like, now nah, you keep it until you're done because I'm going to be moving and I don't want to get lost in the mix. I'm like, yeah, true story. So I'm going to read it and then I'll give it to her to read. The other two books that I probably shouldn't have splurged on, but I did anyway because I don't have any books. Well, I do have books by them. Well, I have books by one of the authors, not the other. The first, but I've seen the other author around a lot and people love her books, so I decided to grab one to see what it was all about. The first book, though, is House Rules by Judy Pultz. I have so many Joy Bicol books, I have only read My Sister's Keeper. I need to read some. And this one is about a boy with like a mental disease or something like that, a mental issue. So, it sounds really good. It's huge though. This paper bag is ginormous. I almost got Lone Wolf, and when I first went, I picked up Lone Wolf, and then I picked up this one, and I was going to walk away with them, and then I came across the other author, and I was like, oh, I need to get one of her books, but if I add that on top of this it would be so much money, so I decided to put back Lone Wolf, even though it was such a beautiful copy, for $5.99. And Lone Wolf is her newest book, I think. But I, I'll, I'll go back and get it sometime. And the last book that I put Lone Wolf down for was... Can You Keep a Secret by Sophie Kinsella. Um, she writes Chiclet. And I've, always, I've been wanting to read Chiclet for a long time, because... Along with YA, Chiclet is like the next best thing, and I, and I love Chiclet. Like, one time I was in a bad reading club, and I read this Chiclet book, book, and it just totally took me out of it. And I totally just wanted to read everything in sight after I finished that book, so I love it. So I, I got these Chiclet books, you know, just to get me out of reading something when I eat them, too. But so, yeah, they, there was a bunch of her books, and I couldn't find a um, book I wanted, which was uh, I, I Got Your Number or something, so I just grabbed this one. And it looks really good. The first thing I saw was secrets from her mother, secrets from her boyfriend, from her colleagues. And secrets from her mother, it says, I lost my virginity. Secrets from boyfriend, I weigh 128 pounds, not 118, like Connor thinks. And then, when Artemis really annoys me, I feed her plant orange juice. <laughs> Sounds funny. I can't wait to check it out. I'll probably read this soon. So yeah, that's everything I've gotten this week. You might see an add-on to this video. I don't know. Maybe not because it's really long, but who knows. If I get books, I'm going to add on. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.